Hello friends and fashion lovers, you're welcome and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we'll be making this lovely Les Ball dress. It's very lovely, it's a flower girl dress and it's very full. Trust me, it's quite lovely. If you're here for the first time, my name is Esther and I love to sew for ladies and young ones. If that sounds like something you're interested in or you're just interested in this video, consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of the future uploads or probably any video of your interest in future. Thank you in anticipation that you've subscribed. Let's get right into the making of this dress. For this dress, I am using a basic bodice block. Yes, the link to how to draft a basic bodice block will be in the description box. You need a certain fabric to line your less. Yes, for this, I used less than half yard, so a quarter yard is all right. Then, less trimming. I For your net, I used five yards of less trimming and 12 yards of net for this dress. Then you also need a zipper or a button. Then can can. This is one and a half yards, but I didn't use all. And you also need a satin fabric or some form of lining for your skirt for your tool. So here, all I did was to place my pattern on my fabric and cut out my lining. And my main fabric that will go with the lace as well as my lace. Here I have my bodice with lace and I'm placing it right side facing each other. That is the back and the front placed right side facing each other. I'm going to sew along the shoulder seam. So here I have sewn the shoulder and press open the shoulder seam. I'm going to place them right side facing each other. And I'm going to sew the armhole and the neckline. Who says no when a child drafts her sleeves and asks for it to be added to the sister's dress? Definitely not me. So I'm going to add a sleeve to this dress. This sleeve wasn't made by me. It was made by a child so I'm going to sew as well just add and sew so by the time I'm done sewing the neckline and the armhole I'm going to go ahead and notch yes notch 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 if it's too bulky trim off the excess notch be careful not to cut the seam what do you do when a young one is interested in sewing So here you tuck it in and you pull it out to reveal the right side. Yes, for me, I have my sleeve included here and I have people excited to see how the sleeve is finished nicely and including the owner of the dress. So here is the bodice. So please ignore all the touching. We are going to be sewing the side of the dress. So, so now put right side facing and sew the side of the bodice. The main fabric with the lace to the main fabric with the lace and the lining to the lining. Just join it by the side. Then you have your bodice ready. So the upper part of the dress is ready. So to the skirts now, I have my fabric folded in half and I also have my lining to fold it as well. But the difference between my main fabric and my lining is that the lining is shorter than my main fabric but that of the same satin fabric. Then just take the measurement of the waist you can measure directly on your bodice. 
So take that measurement. That's the west circumference. You're going to divide it by 3.14. And that is how you have your sketch radius. The sketch radius is the west circumference divided by 3.14. And I'm marking that sketch radius right here. Next is to mark your sketch length. Yes, your skirt length is your dress length minus your bodice length. Please ensure to include your seaming allowance on your skirt. Include seaming allowance. Then just go ahead and extend this marking to form a circle. In this case, it's going to be an half circle. You can reconfirm the waist measurement if you are unsure if it's correct. Reconfirm that measurement. Then mark the total length. After that, go ahead and cut your skirt out. You are going to repeat the same process for your lining piece. So now both my skirt and my lining piece are ready. I'm going to work on my lining piece. Just set the skirt aside, work on the lining piece. So on my lining piece, I'm going to mark one inch. And this one inch is where my can can or hard knit will stop after hemming. So for the remaining part, I am going to divide that part into how many layers of can can I want to have so I want to have three layers so I'm marking divided the other portion into three so now that I've successfully divided it into three I'm going to extend this marking since it's not a straight line I'm just going to follow the arc of the skirt and extend this marking mark along and connect so now that I have this marking and this layers, I am going to place my can can on this to form my inbuilt petticoat. You can make it more layers. You can. It's all about your choice. You can even make it just one straight layer. So before I go ahead to sew my can can on it. I am going to mark where my zipper will end. So I'm placing both my lining and my main sketch fabric. So I'm going to measure down where I want the zipper to stop or the button. I'm using zipper in this case. So about 3.5 inches and I'll put a notch there. And this notch is for my skirt and my lining. So now I can sew close the side of my lining and pleat my can can on it without bothering to close letters. So here I have sewed close and left the upper part open and I've pleated my can can on it. I have three layers here, like I said. So it's time to sew the skirt part to my bodice. So remember that this skirt is my lining. So I'm going to be sewing it to the lining of my bodice. So now noting that I have right side facing each other. Please, this right side is going to be what is touching the child's skin. So it has to be the smooth side. Pin your bodice in place and take to your sewing machine and sew the bodice lining and the skirt lining. Once again, the right side are facing. The right side is what will be touching the child's skin, not the hard knit part or can can part. So here I've cut my tool on it and I've made it one inch longer than my skirt. That's my main skirt. So working on the one that will have the trimming. There are a few things about this particular layer that will have a trimming. I've taken out a single one and I'm going to double this layer. So I'm using two knits or two tools. 
So two tools is what I'm placing together here. And I'm going to be sewing my trimming on that. So I'm not sewing it on a single tool. I have double the tool so that it can be durable and it can be stable. Another thing about this layer is that it is five yards. Just the same yards with my trimming five yards i'm using 12 yards of tool or knit for this dress 12 yards for this dress but i'm only using five yards width for my first layer that will have the trimming and this layer is 1.5 inch shorter than the rest of the two the reason i choose it to be 1.5 inch shorter is I want my trimming to exceed this knit or tool layer. So when I place my trimming on it, I'm going to have a little bit of it peeping out. That's why. So I'll go ahead, sew my trimming and I'll gather this knit and I'll come right back and show you what it looks like so here i'm going to be sewing this tool on my skirt and i have gathered the remaining yards of tool that i had remember i only took a width of five yards the remaining one i've gathered it and that is what i have here i'm going to treat it as one that's why i went ahead and pin it in place if you've seen the upper part and on this other layer that is only five yards i have sewn in my trimming so here i'm going to be sewing my tool first to my skirt let's take it one after the other so the tool is being sewn to the skirt now as the remaining 12 yards of tool or whatever yard i didn't measure it has been sewn to my skirt you can see how full it looks. So the five years width that I have sewn my trimming on is what I am going to adjust and sew on the skirt. So I've adjusted it now and I've sewn on the skirt. You can see how full and how lovely it is. So now I am ready to finish off with my dress so i'm going to bring in my can can that i attached to my lining this is how it looks on the inside this is the side that will be facing the child so now it's time for me to put right side facing that's the part that has the nest to my tool should be right side facing match the center point just pin that in place and go ahead and pin the remaining part. Make sure that it's right side facing and you're going to sew it. After sewing your skirt and your bodice together, you should have something that looks like this. Yeah, I know it's quite full. It looks good too so now that you have this we are almost done but wait we need to attach a zipper or a button and close up the down parts of the dress I like to close up the down part by sewing individual tool together So here I'm going to sew in my zipper. So here is a dress after sewing in my zipper. It's quite full. And this is how the back looks. The zipper has been sewn in nicely. And generally, I think the finishing is not the worst. <laughs> so at this point, the dress is ready. If you feel it was too fast, please try and slow it down. I don't want it to be too lengthy. 
and at this point i want to say thank you for watching if you've watched to this point thank you once again and see you in the next tutorial bye for now